is so maniac. I love it. You like that one? What's going on, guys? WrestleManiac 11 third day. Um, this is not an upgrade and save haul. This is still WWE Mania episode two. Got a huge upgrade, upgrade, update for you. There's a big box from the St. Louis folks and a ton of pickups. Just want to shout everybody out. I'm over 900 subs. Thank y'all so much. Let's keep it going. Before I even get started here, you know, I'm about, I got the manliest drink ever. Jack Daniels Down Home Punch. I think this is made for women, but whatever. We didn't have any more here. This is 4.8% alcohol in 10 ounces. So, it's, that's how I do it, you know. But anyways, let's get started, guys. Woo! Also got some good old-fashioned Kroger. Looks like the chips on Roseanne. Let's get started, guys. First, I want to start off with two pickups that I got from a subscriber. And he just gave them to me because he was going to get them on Blu-ray and he didn't want them anymore. Which was awesome. I already unboxed them. And anybody that doesn't already subscribe to GamerZack1, please do so. I'm going to put his link in the description. He sent me a note that says, uh, WrestleManiac 1130. Hope you enjoy these DVDs as much as I have. Keep up the great work on your channel. Zack, a.k.a. GamerZack1. Thanks so much, man, for this. You didn't have to do this. It was really nice of you to do it. And um, like I said, I really appreciate you. So... What it is, is the best pay-per-view matches of 2011, which I will be getting on Blu-ray as well for the extra matches, but these were so awesome to get. And the best pay-per-view matches of 2012. And what they did is, you know, they put the matches there for you. On 2011, you had the WWE title match with Cena and Punk for Money in the Bank 2011, which was an outstanding match. Triple H Undertaker, WrestleMania 27, No Holds Barred match, um, and lots more. So yeah, pay -per -view, uh, best of pay-per-view matches 2011 and 2012. Thanks again, uh, Gamer, Gamer Zach one Appreciate you, man. So next, we have uh, some pickups from eBay. We're going to give you these here next. Woo! First one we got is Chris Jericho. Got the uh, breaking the code behind the walls of Chris Jericho, three disc set. And I had to make my own insert because it didn't come with one. Um, great documentary, great match set. Like I said, this is a. Uh, if you don't have this one, you definitely need to get it. It's awesome. And next we have the one I'm actually watching right now. This was four bucks. Awesome. Got the Triumph and Tragedy of World Class Championship Wrestling. Really good documentary, guys. Two hours long. Great story. Sad story, but a great story nonetheless. Um, two disc set. And I got a sealed copy of WrestleMania 22. See there, it's still sealed. This is five bucks, guys. This had the match between uh, Mick Foley and Edge when he got put through the flaming table. Had Big Show. I mean, uh... Had JBL and Chris Benoit for the U.S. title. Cena and Triple H for the WWE title. Great WrestleMania in my eyes. And like I said, got it sealed, so that was awesome. And um, here's a pickup that I got from Walmart. It was in the $5 bin. Wanted to go ahead and scoop it. It's a good set, too. And it's Greatest Superstars of the 90s. It didn't come with an insert, so I had to make my own again. Um... This has great, great matches on it as well. It's a good set. I like the 80s one better, but this one's good. And these next pickups are I got from McKay's and a while back, and they're awesome. I had some credit, which tomorrow, me and the old visual expression are making a movie trip. 
to Target, Best Buy, McKay's. Such a pansy. Um, I hate beer. But anyway, we're making a, a trip to them. He's never been to McKay's. I'm going to take him tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. This is all the stuff I got from McKay's. Awesome, awesome deals, guys. Starting it off for $10. WWF Invasion 2001. This goes for 20 and up. Came with the insert. Goes for $20 and up on eBay. I watched this earlier today. This is an awesome pay-per-view, guys. Makes you miss the days when this was going on, the old Invasion angle. But yeah, 10 bucks for Invasion. Next, this was sealed and it was $8. I went ahead and took the wrapping off and it actually came with the slip, which surprised me. That Saturday night's main event. I really, really hope they make a volume two, man. There's so much good material on this. I love this so much. This is one of my favorite compilation sets. If you don't have this, you definitely ought to get it. Uh, Saturday night's main event. And this is one, and I can't seem to find it cheaper than this right here. This was, this was 12 bucks, and it's uh, WCW Ni Monday Nitro, Best Of, Volume 1. Again, no, no insert, so I made my own little match list there. Like 32 matches on this. It's a good set. I still need to get Volume 2 on Blu-ray, but um, couldn't pass it up for that price. And here's another one that was a good price. This was 9 bucks, guys, and it's The Rock. Just Bring It, the uh, Collector's Edition double disc set, the two, D TV, two DVD set. Four hours and 15 minutes runtime on this one. Um, really glad to add this to the collection as well. Add this back to the collection. And for $7.99, I got uh, The Life and Times of Mr. Perfect. Great documentary. I uh, wish it would have been a three disc, so it would have had more matches, but still a great set. And these next three pickups I'm really hyped about. This was $4.95, guys. Triple H, the game. With the inserts, the disc is in great shape. Can't get this for less than 20 bucks on eBay or Amazon. $4.95, guys. Awesome. And next are two pay-per-views from 2002, which are hard to find. This was only 6 bucks, and it's Rebellion 2002. Outstanding pay-per-view. You had Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman versus Edge, Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit versus Guerrero and Ch Eddie and Chavo Guerrero. Um, this is one of, the, one of the UK pay-per-views, but this was a great pay-per-view. And for nine bucks, I got Armageddon 2002. Another awesome deal. This had the Shawn Michaels Triple H, uh, two out of three falls, um, street fight, steel cage, and ladder match. Awesome pay-per-view, and again, that's two 2002 pay-per-views that I got for um, 15 bucks, which you can't beat that. And then I got three Blu-rays. For 15 bucks, I got NWO, The Revolution, which is about what you're going to pay for it online, and it was like new, um, which I'm so hyped about getting this. The documentary was kind of, uh, but the round table is what it's worth getting. So I'm really going to add this to the collection, NWO, The Revolution. And for 12 bucks, I got Randy Orton, The Evolution of a Predator, which is great because the, the Blu-ray exclusives has the entire Royal Rumble match that he won. I believe it was from 2009. Don't quote me on that. Um, and two other matches. So, yeah, Randy Orton, The Evolution of a Predator. And this is a steal right here, guys. $9. Best of SmackDown and Raw 2011 three-disc set. There's 13 hours of footage on here. Tons of Blu-ray extra matches. So, so excited to pick this up. And as you see, there are nine bucks, guys. All these are in great shape. Really excited to get this. Actually excited about seeing Raw tonight. So, those are my McKay pickups. And next, we're going to get to the box of goodies from St. Louis. Um, Safety knife! money in the bank. Whoops. Don't agree with some of that stuff that they did on there, but what are you going to do? Ten minute mark.
here we go, guys. I think this is, I think I got like 11, 11 on this run. And first off, we've got Hell in a Cell. Greatest Hell in a Cell match of all time. This is an outstanding set, guys. Please have the insert. Sweetness. Um, really excited to get this again. This is a great, great set. Every single match is awesome. I love the Hell in a Cell matches. Of course, my favorite of all time is Undertaker Mankind. But, great set. And, also got one that a lot of people hate on, but I thought it was pretty good because I'm a big tag team fan. Tag team wrestling fan. That's Allied Powers. World's Greatest Tag Teams. Four bucks. With the insert. Awesome. Just wish Miz and Morrison wasn't hosting it, but what can you do? And the rest of these, I believe, are pay-per-views, guys. I'm really, really excited about getting these pay-per-views, getting the pay-per-views up, up and going. Um, we're going to start it off with TLC 2011. Got old CM Punk on the cover. Um, this had the um, WWE Triple Threat match. You had CM Punk, Del Rio, and The Miz. He had the Sledgehammer Ladder match with Triple H and Kevin Nash, which I heard was bad. Um, chairs match for the World Heavyweight title. He had Mark Henry and Big Show. Orton and Barrett tables match. Cody Rhodes, Booker T. He had Dolph Ziggler and Zack Ryder in the U.S. title match. So, yeah, TLC 2011. Another 2011 pay-per-view that I'm excited about, guys. Um, which I, is regarded as one of the best pay-per-views in the last five to ten years, I would say. That's Money in the Bank 2011. This had John Cena versus CM Punk for the title, obviously. Um, you had Orton and Christian in the World Heavyweight title and then the two Money in the Bank matches. And, you know, with the new one that, that just was on last night, kind of got me in the mood to get some of the old ones. So I picked up 2011 Money in the Bank. As well as Money in the Bank 2012. This had Sheamus and Del Rio for the World Heavyweight title match and the No DQ match for the WWE title. He had CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, um, and then the two Money in the Bank matches. But yeah, Money in the Bank 2012. And, oh, is this is sealed. Awesome. Yeah, SummerSlam 2009, guys. Love this cover. The vintage look. He had Orton and Cena for the WWE title. Uh, Jeff Hardy, CM Punk, and TLC match for the World Heavyweight title. Awesome, I didn't even know that was going to come sealed, so that's even cooler. So, yeah, SummerSlam 2009. You're going to see a lot of these, this paper, this, uh, this video. SummerSlam 2012. I didn't pay more than six bucks for any of these. Um, this had Lesnar and Triple H. You had, um, El Del Rio and Sheamus. Um, Cena, CM Punk, and Big Show, Triple Threat Match. So yeah, SummerSlam 2012. Continuing on with the 2012 theme here. You got Hell in a Cell 2012. I'm actually think there's an insert. There's not. It's just trying to get you to buy stuff. This had CM Punk versus Ryback in the WWE title Hell in a Cell match. Uh, Sheamus and Big Show for the World Heavyweight title. Um... Orton and Del Rio, you had Team Hell No vs. Road Scholars, tag team title, Miz and Kofi for the Intercontinental, and a couple other matches, but yeah, Hell in a Cell 2012, Survivor Series 2012, which had Team Foley, which was Team Hell No, Randy Orton, Kofi and the Miz versus Dolph, Damian Sandow, David Otunga, Del Rio, and Barrett, you had the Triple Threat WWE title match with CM Punk, Cena, and Ryback. He had Big Show and Sheamus for the World Heavyweight title, Cesaro and R-Truth for the U.S. title, and again, a few others. Survivor Series 2012. No Way Out 2012. Terrible cover. But um, this had the Steel Cage match with uh, Cena and Big Show, and then you had the Triple Threat title match, WWE title match with CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, and Kane, and then Sheamus and Dolph for the World Heavyweight title. Um, so, yeah. No Way Out 2012. You see the theme building here, right? And last but not least is Extreme Rules 2012. 
this had uh, Cena and Brock Lesnar in the Extreme Rules match, of course. And then you had CM Punk and Jericho, the sh uh, street fight for the WWE title. Two out of three falls, heavyweight title match between Sheamus and Daniel Bryan. You had tables match for the IC title with Big Show and Cody Rhodes and Orton and Kane. And a Falls Count Anywhere match. So yeah, Extreme Rules 2012. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six 2012 pay-per-views this go-around. So added with my Elimination Chamber. And WrestleMania 28. That gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And I'm getting very close to completing that set, so glad about that. I also scooped up two 2011 pay-per-views. So yeah, guys, that's the haul. Pretty epic, I guess. Again, I want to say I thank you so much to everybody that supports me. I'm over 900 subs. It just keeps going. I keep waiting for my ceiling to, you know, for me to hit a ceiling, and I'm not. And um, y'all are awesome. And as far as upgrade and save, guys, I'm still going to do upgrade and save, but I'm going to be focused more on WWE stuff because that's my my biggest passion is WWE stuff. I mean, I'm WrestleManiac 11. And no great and safe. Still gonna, I'm still going to do some hauls from that. just not going to be like as epic as last time. But there's the there's the haul, guys. You're getting close to 30 of them them jokers. But y'all do some... Do sh 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 what sh 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 what sh sh uh, Like, subscribe, comment. Oh, forgot one. Straggler. Like, subscribe, comment, and... Um, Yeah, share the video, guys. More coming soon. A lot more. Promise. Woo!